All right, a Vietnam vet spends his first Christmas with his daughter he never knew he had. Olivia Robles found her biological father, Gary Barnes, after using Ancestry.com. And, added bonus, Olivia has three sons, giving Gary grandsons he never knew he had, all with a military background, including a West Point cadet. Joining us right now is Olivia, her son from West Point, Ryan Robles, and Olivia's dad, Gary. First off, Olivia, what prompted you to go to Ancestry? What prompted me to go to Ancestry is I wanted to, first of all, initially find, what, determine whether or not I was Hispanic. That was the initial outcome with the hopes, of course, of finding my father. I didn't know his name, so I really didn't think I had a great chance of uh, locating him. So that was actually back in 2014 that I originally submitted my DNA. I didn't have a lot of information to actually trace at that point. And what did you get back? Well, I got back recently online back just in September because of a friend that encouraged me to go on and see my matches. And as a result, I ended up finding a, a match who actually is our cousin. I reached out to her because I was the strongest match for her as a cousin. From there, she was very receptive to actually help and locate my father. And when, within five days, we were actually, uh, we met and we talked on the wow. phone. We didn't meet in person, but we talked on the phone, so. Gary, what was it like to get that call? Well, at first, I was a little apprehensive, I, uh, but after talking with her and communicating through email and sending photographs to me, I, I thought, well, if this lady can find her biological father, if it's me, then I, I just felt so comfortable with it that uh, I agreed. Uh, within a couple of weeks to go ahead and do a DNA test. Right, you got a grandfather. I know, it's, it's a little surreal, you know, still trying to understand it, you know, just taking it all in. Bring us back to the airport scene. I mean, what were you thinking as he was getting off? What are you thinking, Olivia, you too, as you finally got a chance to meet? What was going through your mind? I guess, uh, Ryan, you first. It was, it was just a little odd, I guess. It was my first time coming home for Christmas. So on top of that, me and my grandfather for the first time, uh, my head was still spinning. Uh, but it was awesome, that first hug. You know, I'll never forget that. Did, did you feel a bond? Yeah, almost immediately, uh, especially just due to the military service, knowing he served in Vietnam and was in the Navy. Uh, just coming home and knowing that I had a grandfather with a similar background, someone wow. I can connect to. And Olivia, your thoughts? It's just so, it's still inc incredibly hard to believe that I actually am sitting here with my dad, my dad that I've always wanted to find my entire life. It really completes my life, and it just the missing puzzle has always been there. I've never had the, op you know, I was, I, I, like I said, I didn't think I could ever find him, and it's just a miracle. It's a true miracle that we're together. Uh, right, I mean, he. How do you, Ryan, how do you explain the absence? How did, did you not know? You not, didn't had no idea? Yeah, just growing up, my mom always told me, you know, uh, I don't know my father. Uh, so it's just kind of like fact of life uh, for much of my childhood. I never really knew right. the full story. Gary, what were the circumstances? Well, I was uh, in Vietnam, in and out of there, and I took frequent R&R &R trips to the Philippines during that time. And uh, I... Uh, <laughs> I had a girlfriend, and uh, the last time I was there, I got my orders to ship out back to Vietnam and uh, never returned. I had no way of contacting her. She had no way of knowing how to contact me. Wow. So, uh, <laughs> and, and this, this information. Was a complete surprise. Complete, complete surprise. And how, yeah. how, how stunning is it to have three grandsons that, that are uh, in the military and a West Point cadet to your immediate left? Oh, that's pretty amazing. Um, my wife of 40 years is just as thrilled as I am. Um, and the thing is about all this, we also have, I also have a great grandson, three years old. And they're all wonderful. I've wow. never had children. So my wife of 40 years, Carol, 
and I are completely right. thrilled. You're going to have to start, start your Christmas shopping a lot earlier now. I hope you're ready for that, <laughs> uh, Gary. All of you will. But I, I, I did avoid having to change diapers over the years. <laughs> yeah, but I'm sure in, in retrospect you would love to have been there. Uh, uh -huh. Olivia, Ryan, and uh, Gary, thanks for sharing your story. Thank, thank you. you. And can I just add a quick note? I wanted to thank my Aunt Lida and Tim for all this because it all started at their house. Because of that, they're the reason why I'm here today. All right. Thank yous are out, thank you. and everyone's grateful. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you. Take thank care. You. Bye.